know, I know Mike is coming back soon. You know, we're already having really good talks for Mikey to come back in March or April, and uh, and people will see. You know, we're gonna see Mikey back. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So there were rumblings in the boxing world about Mikey Garcia being officially released from top rank, and that's a good thing because that's what he was trying to do. And it was confirmed by Michelle Rosado, Raging Babe. Shout out to her. She asked Bob Arum, CEO of Top Rank, directly, and he confirmed that it is official. Mikey Garcia of Oxnard has been released officially from Top Rank. Now, just to fill you guys in, if you're a dedicated boxing fan, you already know this story. Let me just kind of sum it up. Mikey Garcia, he was on top of his game. He was fighting guys like Juan Ma Lopez, Orlando Salido, who's still a factor. You look at Salido, he's, he's fighting Francisco Vargas. That's a sleeper hit. That's a good fight. But... Mikey Garcia was making his ascent to the top of the boxing world. He moved up in weight. He's fighting guys like Rocky Martinez. He was just looking real good. It got to a point where it looked like he was going to fight Gamboa. Things got rocky. He had disputes with his promotional contract. I don't know exactly the details, money. And basically, ever since then, the Gamboa fight didn't happen. Gamboa went on to fight and lose to Terrence Crawford. And Mikey Garcia was fighting in the court system, the legal battle with top rank. And he's been on the shelf ever since then just kind of wasting away and it's very unfortunate because he was he was peaking he was i mean good performance after good performance he was undefeated hell of a skill set you could tell the guy was a student of the game um he's technically sound and he was doing a lot of things right he has power he has a good trainer with his brother and his and um garcia senior and it just it just came to it was he was traveling about 65 75 miles per hour and it came to a screeching halt but now it is official. He has been awarded a release, a promotional release from his contract with Top Rank. He waited it out. He battled it in the court system. If you guys see, there was some interviews just floating around the internet where people were catching up with, he was basically semi-retired or is his off season because he hasn't fought, but he was in some interviews and things like that. And there was some back and forth banter. Bob Aram said he offered a Crawford fight to him and Mikey Garcia, said, Mikey Garcia said that's not the case, and it just, it, it got nasty, but you guys can see, it's been confirmed, even Christina Poncher of Top Rank, she, she had a, she's obviously covered his fights, and she wished him well in the future, and where does he go from here, that's my question to you guys, welcome back Mikey Garcia, it's been a long time coming, and again, the, the biggest thing is, when you're on the shelf that long, you don't know what that's going to do to your skill set, sometimes people pick up weight, you get a little bit rusty and I'm a fair boxing critic and commentator. So when you look at other fighters who had similar situations, like let's say Andre Ward, some of the fans proclaimed he needed to, after his inactivity where he wasn't fighting as much as he wanted to for similar reasons, injuries, things like that. They're saying he needed to move up and wait and fight Sergey Kovalev, who's the kingpin of the division, right? Monstrous power, great boxer, undefeated, things like that, champion. And people are saying that me, I'm realistic. I think Mikey Garcia should kind of gradually get back in the swing of things, meaning don't immediately fight one of the top dogs because you haven't been fighting in quite some time. And I'm a realist. And again, not everyone's like a Floyd Mayweather or even an Andre Ward where they can disappear for like when Mayweather retired, semi-retired after the Hatton TKO and came back after 21 months and beat Marquez. You could say it was because of the weight or whatever. Bottom line, he schooled a, a fighter who nobody else is really beating Marquez for 12 rounds solid. Pacquiao didn't do it. Bradley didn't do it. Alvarado didn't do it. Nobody really just beats, even Michael Katsidis and guys, he knocked Marquez down. So um, that just goes, this is a testament to how sharp Floyd is. But again, that's, Floyd's an anomaly. So I'm not saying Mikey Garcia can't do it, but he's been out of the sport for a while. We've seen Chavez Jr., what happened when he came back. He got stopped by Funfara. So I, I would advise Mikey Garcia to, and I'm not saying, obviously, I think Mikey Garcia is far more technically sound than Chavez Jr. And he has some amateur background and, like I said, a good camp. And he's, he, he's not as undisciplined as a Chavez Jr., so I'm not making that comparison. Bottom line is, I think he should gradually get back into the swing of things not take on a top dog but this opens a lot of possibilities i don't know if bob aram's interested in working with him i don't even know what weight he's planning on campaigning at what weight he can comfortably make without killing himself because he did uh, lose his title on the scale at one point when he was um actively fighting 
and I don't know what weight he's going to come back, but just some names. Like I said, I don't know if Aaron wants to work with him at all, or he just wants to wipe his hands clean of him, but there's guys on the top rank side like Bradley, Pacquiao. More importantly, the fight that a lot of people have clamored for would be a fight with like a Terrence Crawford or Victor Postal. I think they're closer to the weight that he would come back at, maybe like a 140. I don't know for a fact. Then you look at the across the pond, there's some other options like Francisco Vargas Salido winner, right? If he if he did a deal with Golden Boy and was able to work with them, maybe the winner of that. He already beat Salido, but the way it ended, he got his nose broke and it kind of went to the scorecards, I believe. So it wasn't really controversy. I thought he was pretty much dominating Salido. Salido started coming on though. Salido started coming on strong and then he got his nose broke and then it ended. So not really a controversy there, but you know what I mean? Possibly because Salido has since beat guys like Lomachenko. If he beats um, Francisco Vargas, that'd be a solid win. If Francisco Vargas beats him, that's a great Mexican, Mexican-American clash. You also got Al Heyman guys, Danny Garcia. There's just a ton of fights. Adrian Broner. Can you imagine Mikey Garcia versus Adrian Broner? Danny Garcia. I mean, there's a ton, a ton of fights that I would love to see. I mean, even for a fight back, I would entertain something like Victor Ortiz versus Mikey Garcia. And I'm not even bullshitting. I think something like that. Berto. I mean, again, it just it really depends on who he signs with. Let me know who you guys think he should sign with. Should he go over to Al Heyman and the PBC side of things? Uh, he took a picture in front of the Mayweather gym. I don't know if he wants to be, but Mayweather Promotions is kind of under the Heyman umbrella. That's what I consider it, because Mayweather is obviously a signed fighter to Al Heyman, so he'll work with Al Heyman. So that's kind of under the same family, if you will. Should he sign to Golden Boy? Should he sign to, um, I don't know. Who do, who do you guys think he should sign to? What should he do next in his career? Drop that in the comment section, but I'm happy for him. There's a ton of fights. Jesse Vargas is, again, I don't know if Top Rank wants to work with him because of what they, the legal, I don't know if there's any kind of bad blood on Bob Arum's side because he's the shot caller over there. But, I mean, you got guys like Jesse Vargas who's um, had some good wins in recent memory. So, the sky's the limit. I just want him, I want to welcome him back, first of all. And I just want him to come back the right way. And that's by taking probably a tune-up style fight. Don't just jump in there with a champion or killer, but we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think. Welcome back, Mikey Garcia. Who should he fight? Who should he sign with? Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing. Yeah.